at this view. Oh my lord. We made it. Hey, que lo que es mi gente, tranquilito aquí en República Dominicana. Con el locotrón aquí. Bienvenido a Amber Cove. <laughs> Amber Cove. Lo más fuerte, Dominican Republic. Let's go. Look at this view. Yeah. Esteban pay me 500 pesos. So, so what you buy with 500 pesos? I need, I need to pay my college. You can pay college? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I'm studying biology. I want to be a teacher. I like to do that. I love, I love to do that. So you're going to save it up to go to college? Yeah, you wow. know, bro. You How much does college cost in Dominican Republic? I need to pay 2,500. 2,500 pesos? pesos, yeah. Pesos. So you're already 500 pesos? Four, four, four months. For four months? Yeah, yeah. Wow. One month, one month, 2,500 two pesos. Wow. For five months. Okay, okay. So you're already 500 there. You, you know, bro. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to college. God bless you, bro. My friend here just gave me some water. I'm on the bus right now. We're getting ready to go to the zip line uh, excursion and the beach. So this is all carnival. Uh, it was only $74. Not bad. So we're going to go there now. I'm on the bus. I'm waiting for everyone to get on. Then we're going to leave. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Bye. Right now, we're going to be riding on the bumpy road into uh this is a place for the locals. This is a countryside of Puerto Plata. We're gonna be riding into Guzmancito like a, an hour with a bumpy road. So, hold your So as soon as you get off the bus, you go into the building in front of me and they make you go in a line and they make you buy a locker and it's $5. It's pretty much mandatory because you can't take anything with you on the zip line. So once you get your locker, you put all your stuff in your locker and then uh, there's a bathroom right here that you use and then you put all your stuff away and then you go on the zip line, they take you. So I'm gonna put my stuff away and then we're gonna go. Guys, I just got to the zip line area, area where everyone is getting strapped up right here. I just want to let you guys know that if you wanted to bring your GoPro and record it, they don't let you wear the chest piece, the wearable. They only let you have the the head, the helmet mount, and you got to have the clip. So thankfully, I had the clip in my bag and I brought it with me. But if you want to record it, you got to bring the clip, and they only let you have the camera on top of the helmet. I just want to let you guys know that one tip, but. I'm getting ready to get strapped up and I'll show you guys what it looks like from the helmet. Peace. You guys show the for bottles, please. All right. One first. The other. Oh, bubble. Yeah. Okay, the other one. Do that one way. Fix your pants, please. Let me hold the camera. There you go. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Now hold it up here, okay. Take your camera. Strap up. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Sheep lining. X, X. Hey, tell you what, that guy looks be better behind the camera. Better behind the camera? Yeah. Don't have a big head. <laughs> to do the lines all we ask you to do is sit on your harness like I'm just doing and place both of your hands on the indicated position given to you by the guy the indicated position is right here holding both of the straps at the same time with both hands all right 
please be mindful not to place your hands on the metal part right here because on this tool we got a braking system installed on this door and this is where the braking system will be making the first contact and we don't want to have the hands on the fingers when that happens remember always hold the straps and the same time at the same time we want you to pick the legs up picking the legs up allows you to traverse a maximum speed where we, where you are going to and as well we want you to land safely on the platform without you bumping your legs into the platforms you can pick the legs up all the way across the line or you can pick your legs up at the end whichever way it's okay but if you see the guys give you this signal right here it's just a friendly reminder to pick the legs up okay and last but not least we want you to lean back as much as possible why we ask you to lean back it's for the same reason of the braking system once the braking system starts to slow you down your body will tend to make a swing forward and we don't want the helmet rubbing against the cables or your face hitting into the straps <coughs> leaning back will prevent that from happening and as well leaning back will prevent you from like going si uh, sideways or turning backwards around. yes turning around like this like this you see you don't like that happen to it right? right leaning back will prevent that from happening too all right and remember once you are doing ready to do the tour both hands on the straps lean back legs up and you can sit flying across pretty easy right i thought it would be longer <laughs> <laughs>
So we just got off the zip line. So lunch is included. So we got some good looking food here. I'm starving. We got salad bar. Then when you walk over here, you get the uh, we got some rice, some beans. We got pasta, some pasta, rice, beans, pollo. You walk over here, we got pollo on the grill. Yay! We got the chef, Luis. Looking good, looking good. Lemon butter, it's lemon butter right here, barbecue sauce. So not bad, little, little included lunch when you get done zip lining, using all that energy. Now check this view out as I eat. Look at this eating.